Well, hello and welcome back, everyone. Today is going to be a product review. I haven't done one of these in a little bit, but uh, this is going to be a product review on uh, Paragraphics uh, Photo Etch and Decal kits for the uh, EVA pod. So, should be really cool. Um, it's definitely going to enhance that uh, interior cockpit area. So, let's go take a look. Okay, here we are. There's our photo etch. There's our display graphics. And here's our button decals. So let's start off with uh, the photo etch here. Let's look at the instructions here first. I will pull both of them out. Looks like there's at least two uh, sheets there. There we go. You know, this is pretty much, you know, if any of you have ever worked with Paragraphics uh, Photo Etch, it's a pretty standard uh, instruction sheet. It'll go through the materials, you know, that you may need. Uh, you know, lighting options about the decals, the applying decals to uh, to the photo etch. And then their key up here, the, you know, anything in a circle is the kit part. Um, anything in a square around any number with square around it's a decal, and then the photo etch is always a dark circle with a number in it. And then here they're showing you how the raised button will come through the photo etch. So. You know, as you can see, there's your your kit part, your your photo etch, and then and then your decal. And go, and you can use the you know kit supplied or add your own decals like I got here. But pretty straightforward. They'll always show you what to. Uh, now is that? Yeah. It's, wow, this one got printed weird. This page is this way, <laughs> and then you open it up, and it's upside down. So you kind of got to, you know, it doesn't really matter because it's always, it's not in like steps. It's kind of like, okay, this is for all this, this is for all this. So, but they'll usually give you like a, like a slashy line over the stuff that they want you to remove. So I guess you got an extra, you got an alternate part for these round windows. And what, I'm not sure what this means here. Switch, switches, three places. Oh, and those three. So those, that's what those are. They're switches. Ah, so in those round ports, you got the three and then you got three switches and this one gives you six. So that's an alternate. You don't have to do that. You could just put this piece of photo etch right over that and just have the little nubs. Or you can grind them off and put actual switch. They must have a... Yeah, there's your alternates. And then these must be the switches. Yep, and there's your switch. So you can actually have a physical switch instead of just a round molded uh, plastic piece. That's pretty cool. So it is for you know, so you can make it look like a toggle. I mean, it's going to be kind of flattish. But you just glue it in there. I wonder if it actually even be better just use a styrene rod and glue them on there instead of these little uh, switches, little pieces of metal, because they're still going to be flat. But I'm thinking of a switch. A switch is usually a round little nub. I bet you I could do that. Let's take a little bit of a somewhere I got round styrene in different sizes, and I have the rods. Yeah. What I got here? 
here's our rod. If it matches what would go on there. Yeah. And I could always grind a little angle if I want it like flipped in a position. Or I can have some straight, like it's a three-way switch. I'm not sure if those are three-way switches or two-way switches. I'd have to watch in a film. But, you know, I could always glue them with, you know, it up, one down, maybe others straight in. Yeah, so that's great. Yeah, so that's probably what I'll do. I'll grind them off, put this alternate piece in. And then, uh, actually make toggles. That's really cool. It's just going to get them all the same size as different but I think those will be easier to glue on to there too than these little unless they give you a flat end it's hard to tell it's so tiny looks like they kind of do they give you a round part and a flat and there's different gauges too but I, I got different gauge like it looks like those are bigger ones and then these are smaller ones they're not really telling you which not ones to use just saying switches if there's switches anywhere else yeah we got eight switches there and uh where's that photo etch piece why am i not seeing you oh there there so you can use 10 like that and just stick it through on the right starboard panel. Or you can use the alternate and grind them off and actually put switches on them. Now I'm wondering why... Now I'm not sure, like I see eight switches, but do you put them on those? Or is it for the grinding? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think they still want you to put some switches up there from what it looks like. You can put that there and have those stick through. And I guess you can put those switches there. I'm assuming I'm not sure because the photo edge parts only for the bottom part of that panel yeah so that's like unclear all right well let's read it that would help eight lights located below the communication switch should be evenly spaced directly between each switch you can either mask them with uh, the photo etch part 10 or remove the raised light using photo etch alternate part 10 and replace the raised dome with drops of my oh okay so this is actually for these are actually for lights so the switches are supposed to be up on top and then the lights or down the bottom and you can either just stick you can either just stick that piece over top of those little lumps and use those as lights or you could grind them off and use window maker and those or you probably even drill holes so So the eight switches go on that top row and this big photo edge with the eight holes goes below for the light blocking for the lights. Gotcha. So you do have some of these switches here that are kind of rounded and that's probably why they have the round. Hmm. 
I'll have to look to see at the part, actual part, to see if I want to, or, or I can replace them with a different rod. And then I do have different thicknesses too. So, but yeah, that's really cool. So that's probably what we'll do. I'll probably use the styrene, and I can just round the ends off. But that's neat that they do that. But I don't know if I want them flat like that, you know, because you'd only see them and then head on, they wouldn't look quite right. I'm not sure. From the side view, they'd look great. But we'll, we'll figure that out. But yeah, then they show you the photo etch going down and all, and that's going to give you the light blocking. So that's awesome. It's almost like the inside, that's what it is. The inside is printed differently than the outside. But pretty straightforward. These just go right over top of the actual panels. There's your display screens. And this is pretty much the other side. And then they also give you some name tags, Eva Pod Anna, Eva Pod Betty, Eva Pod Clara. So that's cool. So you got, you know, a tag. So sweet. You got your port and starboard sides. So that's great. So there's your photo etch. And that's neat. I didn't know it was going to give me switches. The ability to have, like, better, more accurate looking switches. Still a little round bumps on a panel. That's cool. Yeah, they just came in the other day. I thought they were going to take longer to come in. And here is our display um, decals, which are supposed to be nicer. I haven't fully unwrapped the uh, decals from the kit to give them a comparison, but I always know that the graphics that they get here look great. And the nice thing is, it's on a clear backing film, which I think is supposed to give you, you know, better luminance. Yeah, because then it acts like a fiber optic. So I guess you got to just cut these out. I don't, I don't think these are a water slide. I think these you actually cut out. And then that gives you that, yeah, that looks great. So they glow a little better being on a clear backing like this printed on that that is awesome so let's see what the instructions say yeah and see they're telling you to stick them down with double face tape If you are using a photo etch, yeah, if you're building the Eva Pod stock without the photo etch parts, we suggest you back, you adhere the backlit film to the front of the clear parts using a high quality double face tape, such as 3M 665 one inch wide. If you are using Paragraph's photo etch set, we suggest you use micro crystal clear to micro scale or testers clear parts adhesive or window maker to attach the film to the back side of the photo etch part. Very simple then. You would actually, uh, on the back half of this photo etch part, let's get one of them out. It has a display screen. So let's say this is the back, this is the front. You would actually want to use Window Maker. And actually, I wonder if they have a spaced out right. No. 
you actually want to use a window maker to adhere that so it would sit like that I don't know if we pick that blue one so it would just lay like that and you yeah that makes that looks really good so you'd cut it out leave some of that film to overlap so when you're actually putting it down it'll overlap on the bars like that so it's going to be also you're going to want to paint these first I imagine and do everything you need to and then put these decals on and then this would probably go down onto the part I'm assuming Yeah, cut out the desired display screen from section B. You will find it easier to cut them a bit large than you attach the adhesive now. Yeah, and that's for the double face tape. And here they go through a, a little more. If you're using the photo etch kit part, they're telling you to on the kit part to actually open the holes a little wider so that the photo etch is the edging. They're showing in this picture here. And it's going to be hard for you guys to see, but you can kind of see that the this, this part here is the photo etch and they're showing it a little bigger than the opening and this is the plastic part kit part instead of them being matched you remove a little bit of it and that way your display screen has you know an edge to stick into Yeah, and then you just put the adhesive right in the corner. Gotcha. So that's how you can do it. You almost glue. Yeah, you can actually glue the photo etch down first and then put the decal. If you remove, make the holes bigger, then you can fit the decal in there. And then you put the adhesive in the corner. So that's very cool. But pretty straightforward, but that's going to be nice. I wonder if you could still use the clear part and the photo etch. I don't know. It might the clear part might stick. Is there to show in the clear part? Yeah, it kind of sticks up and and I believe would hit. No, no, because it sticks below. Yeah, it sticks below, according to that. So I'm wondering if you just do both or not. I'm not sure. I'll see what works the best. They're always the quickest, too. But, if, you know, for some reason I think if the clear part can fit, then why not just attach these to the clear part and then just pop them right in? I don't know. We'll see. But that is the displays. And I'll give you a better shot if I can here. Of how they all look. Very nice color. You can see that light really wants to go through them really good. And, it, and the colors actually get brighter and nicer really good crisp graphics uh, dual colors and you know there's white and green and there's an actual screenshot <laughs> of the guy floating around so this is cool definitely worth getting all right and then uh, 
let's move on to the button labels. Come on. I actually did this wrong. Put the instructions in the back. They put a piece of cardboard in here to keep your decals or screens from uh, getting folded and stuff. Alright, there's that. And uh, how much this is going to really show you. But here's your uh, button labels. And the cool thing about this is it'll actually show you what color the buttons will be. So like this group's yellow. You got the blue here, your green. Same thing with all these. Yeah, and I didn't know those were all switches right there. But yeah. So that's really neat. They give you a really nice diagram on all that stuff. They tell you what, you know, clear, you know, transparent colors, you know, you can use Tamiya's, you know, X25, or, so they always give you suggestions, and then here's all your other panels and colors, <laughs> one solo red button out there, but that's so awesome, to be able to have all the little labels actually on the buttons. I think since they're all dark, it's going to be hard to just carry them. Yeah, they're all in black print. Because so I was also thinking, okay, if they're in, like here they show them as white labels, but that wouldn't really work, would it? Or will it? Yeah, that's what those are. Those are white labels. I think. It's hard to see. If they're white, they're going to be hard to see. Yeah. Well, let me look where it's uh, like C3 and where is that? Right there. C4. So yeah, that's, those got to be the white labels. Three. Those are big. It would be where do those go. It covers a lot of buttons. L5 L1 Yeah, I don't know where that goes or alternatives oh no there they are l3 l3 so that's that cluster but my thing is okay if that's white labels how do we how's that shine through when you paint the buttons blue i'm sure they will tell you painting. All parts should be masked and painted before applying decals. Please note that the buttons in the photograph are marked out in the color that they should be painted. We suggest you may we will need the pollen color.
that's that's my concern is yeah that's my concern if I because if you paint them if I paint the whole button blue and then I put a white decal over top of it, well, I still see the white decal, you know, that's a white decal. You know what I mean? I guess. I guess. Oh, still, that's really cool. I was wondering what was in these. And I guess the red checkered line is what you cut, where you cut it, because this is all one, you know, Oh, there's no it's not dyed so that you just cut like a, this and then it'll float just the, de the section you want you actually have to cut right up to the decal because it's all one carrier film but very cool that's gonna be neat that is gonna be neat so very cool but there yeah there's the there's your button layouts that's gonna be awesome that will give it an extra little realism the buttons instead of just being blue and yellow and white not buttons oh, before I close that but yeah so now I can I'm ready to actually get started on the EVA pod uh, you know because one of the first things you got to start working on and the major thing of the whole build is the cockpit so now I got everything I need and I can maybe next week get started on it. So, I hope you stay and watch the build. Um, it's going to be a fun series. Until um, then, thanks for watching.